Hi, you guys. Welcome back. So, my hair looking a little, a little whatever. But anyway, you guys can see right now I'm at work. And today is Thursday, which means uh, six, 16th. There's the 16th. And, um, yeah. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, which means Rama has to go to court. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to call his name or not. I'm not sure about how all this stuff Okay, see, now I'm about to go back inside. But I'm not sure about how all this stuff works. This legal, legal stuff. But basically, they just said that, like, we're going to have to go to court each month, which the lawyer said that they, that's some bull crap. They're trying to try some foul stuff, some funny mess, whatever going on. But anyway, I'm in contact with two lawyers right now as it is the moment. Um... So basically they say that he has to go to court until they call his name. And never heard anything like that before in my life. Yeah, so we going to Georgia tonight. So we he can be there on time tomorrow at nine o'clock. So we still, we're going to that office tonight and stay tonight and go up to the courthouse, whatever. At the jailhouse. Um in the morning so yeah and then after that I don't know what's going to happen after that so I can't tell you what after that but Lord's willing God knows it will work itself out because wrong did nothing wrong I just I can't stress that enough and if the police the, the sheriffs and cause I reached out to Georgia State Patrol, they didn't contact me back, but guess what? I knew for a full fact they saw my video because I sent it to Instagram and they saw it. I saw when they opened it. So, Georgia uh, State Patrol, I reached out to them and I sent in the videos and I said what I had to say. I reached out to my news people, they contacted me back. Um, I seen you screen put a screenshot in that of that, but um when I contacted the news and some of my subscribers too and my followers and they screened and they commented back to my followers and they were like, Yeah, we are in contact with her now. Um who else? I contacted the sheriff department over in Lowndes County, which is right off of Georgia. I haven't heard nothing back from them, but I know they had to see my video because I noticed. And you know what? I don't have to tell details because I don't want to end up they knowing whatever. But I know they saw my video, and which I wanted them to see my video because, like, that was some foul crap what the Georgia State Patrol guy did. And on top of that, the ones who had the sheriff that that sheriff department who we went to, um. The guy that showed up on the scene was completely horrid because how are you going to take another cop's side? You don't know what the situation is. That's not how it goes. But first of all, we, we all are human first. Let's be clear. We all are human first. So, you get both sides of the story. You didn't write no statement. Nobody written a statement. Nobody read wrong his rights. My kids, my, my daughter, even though they released her, you should still read her her rights. But you arrested her. And didn't read her her rights, didn't read my husband his rights, or anything. Well, no statement was written what happened, or no nothing. Just no nothing. So, it's all a big, big mess, and something got to be done about it. Mm -hmm. No problem. And something got to be done about it because it's, it's completely wrong. You know, and the phone was taken by accident by my child. You guys know my kids have phones. You see them on their phones on Instagram. If y'all follow my Instagram, well, definitely on Instagram. You see my kids always on the phone when we out and about because they, they're gamers. They always playing the video games on their phone, Roblox and all this stuff. So they have to have their own phone. You feel me? So it was picked up by accident and put in the backpack by accident when I told everybody to put their phones. I can't handle this. I'm going back inside. When I told everybody to put their phones in the backpack, it was going to go on another ride. And that's how all that conspired. Everything seemed to went downhill after that. So, um, I'm going to keep you guys posted. Thank you for everybody who's reaching out. 
and also like i told you everybody they contact um what's that man name this high high whatever attorney um ben oh crump i talked to him too um so yeah we're just gonna see what happens i'm be praying about it and leave it in god's hands because what was done was it elfed up on so many levels. What the cop did, it did not even went that far. If he would have did his job right, instead of trying to show off and show like, oh, he the man, all that would never happen. But I think it's his pride problem because I had to went off on him already about accusing us of taking a phone, which I didn't know we even had a fucking phone, but accusing us of taking a phone that we didn't even know we even had. So because I showed out on him, went off on him, he wanted to show out on Rome in front of everybody. But what he what, 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 what he noticed, what he got scared of, is when all the crowd came around. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But he got really scared and nervous when the crowd came around and started recording him. Yes. Learn to police the police. Because when you're wrong, you are wrong. And don't just video camera. If something going on, God damn it. it you just might have to step in. You might have to save somebody's life. Because if you're doing something wrong, don't just sit there and record somebody dying. Like the George Floyd situation. Y'all y'all sat there and watched this man die because y'all wouldn't hold y'all phones. Well, we all would have had to get arrested that day because you're not going to kill this man in front of me. We will all have to get arrested. Because we are human first. We're not animals. We're not savages. I know a lot of people like to think that black people are savages. But, uh, baby, look at... Uh, you know, we're not even saying this to a race thing. But, hunting. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. No matter what color you is. And to the little bastard bitch that want to say, Oh, um, want to try to send me a video of me and this officer, which, which is our uh, deputy sergeant, what I can't remember what he is. Toby here in Monticello. Baby, that didn't mean nothing to me. That's why you got blocked. I don't care. And I'm going to still say it again. Like I said it before. All cops. Because y'all supposed, supposed to get mad at all cops. Because one cop fucked up. One bad apple spoiled a bunch. No, not over here. No, who fucked up is the one need to be held accountable for, being, for, for, for fucking up the shit. That's who need to be held accountable. Not the all cops. Because one person messed up. That one person who messed up, it need to be held accountable. Don't hate all the cops but just because of the simple fact that one cop messed up. All them cops didn't do that. All cops aren't bad. That was the first cop. Yeah, to my old dude, I got to I never been. I, I, I right, I never been targeted, and I still have not been targeted. Okay, and I can I can say this too. My husband wasn't targeted, even though he was arrested. Because he indeed did have the phone in my daughter's book bag, which my daughter gave him the book bag to carry around. Because they started getting on all the rides and we didn't want to get on rides no more because we were upset about what had happened with the cop. So we didn't get on any rides anymore. Well, he held Destiny, the, uh, Destiny book bag. So that's how he got the book bag. She had the book bag. And I still say to this day, I support cops. You know? Sorry, guys. I had a guest come in. But, yeah. I don't hate cops. Not one bit. But, the one who did what he did was completely wrong for doing what he did. What is, what is that? I don't know. It was in 124. Oh, no, no, no. He'll, he'll stay over. Oh, you saw Yeah. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, he'll stay over. All right. All right. Is my camera upside down? I think so. Um, what else I want to say? I forgot. But yeah, I'm not mad at all cops, like I was saying. I still do support them. Because at the end of the day, the same ones that hate cops, talk about cops, say shit, cops this, cops that. But soon your sorry ass get into a jam, or you hurt, or somebody break into your house, or you scared of whatever kids are to be, who the first one you calling? A cop. Now I want a cop. 
So you can't play both sides of it because if you if you hate cars so much, don't call them when you're in trouble. Or you need some help or some kind of backup to come help somebody who needs some help. Don't call them. Hold it on hold it down on your own. Because I have family members. I have friends who are cops. I have a cousin who's the chief of police. Here. I have friends who are cops. Let me call them sheriffs. They're sheriffs. They're policemen. Even if they wasn't, I'm not going to hate somebody just because one person fucked up. I'm not that friend that be like, oh, I don't like you because you talk, you talking to her, but just because we stop talking. No, I'm going to still talk to her. That don't have nothing to do with me. Y'all don't like each other? Fine. I'm not, but I'm not going to still be talking about both of y'all. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm cool with you. I'm cool with you. I'm not that friend. I'm not afraid they're going to hold you in your wrong. Because I'm going to tell you, you're wrong. Anybody know me know that. I'm very vocal. If you're wrong, you're wrong. I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Either you either want to still be friends or not. Because some people can't take that. I'm going, to, I'm going to check you on that. So, anyways, Rome and I are going to Georgia. Like I was saying, we're going to Georgia tonight. And... He goes to court in the morning. I don't know if they're going to call his name or not. But when y'all find out, we'll find out. And I just lifted in God's hands and prayed about it because we pray that justice will be served. Because, like I said, he, he did nothing wrong. He didn't touch that cop. He did not threaten that cop. Like Rome said, how did he get, how could he even touch the cop? How could he even get a chance to do to do anything to the cop but how the cop grabbed him? He didn't get, how could he even get a chance to do anything? And the only thing he did say, it was sticking to the security guard, because the security guard was the one that slammed my daughter on that concrete. He was the one that did that. Rome told the security guard, if you touch his daughter like that again, it's going to be a fucking problem. And you heard him say that on camera. And he was talking to the, the security guard. See, the sheriff, whatever the little man is, he didn't touch it. He didn't touch this, to my knowledge. Everybody said, no, it was, it was, because I, I talked to the lady. I called her. Destiny, I asked Destiny. She didn't know mommy was the man in the orange shirt who, who had did who had knocked me down, had put on the concrete. It was the guy in the orange shirt. I said, Well, that was the security guard at Wild Adventures. It was not the state trooper. Okay. So And then they tried to lie when they arrested Destiny to my she attacked the cop. She did not so why you try to say I'm allowed my daughter? Come on. Attacking ain't fighting, right? She did not fight you. She was trying to help her dad. Even though I like told her now, if a police is involved with a situation with your parents or anybody, do not step in the way. Because you never know what kind of heart they have. They could shoot you and get away with Scott Free. A lot of cops have did that and got away with Scott Free. And and then we all would have to be dead and going to jail because I, there's no way in hell I would have stopped there just not let nothing happen. No. We just would have been, been dead. So I just told her, just don't ever again. But my family had been stressed out so much. So. Just pray for us. That's all we can do. So. Right is right and wrong is wrong. One, Rome did not take a phone or touch the phone. And two, Rome did not hit or touch a cop, let alone threaten a cop. So those charges definitely need to be thrown out because he did not do either of those things. So, have a good day.